Are you wondering why you're not really getting the results that you feel like you should in your music career and in your life? I'm gonna share with you exactly why I think that's happening. My name is Lazy the Gifted. I'm a self-producing artist, been doing music for about 11 years. I get on here and do these videos to help producers and artists get better in their music careers, start getting money, and really just help their life in general. So, I really realized this. I realized I've been doing music for 11 years. First of all, holy shit, that's a long time, kind of. I mean, I've got 11 more years to go. I've got 111 more years to go. But I realized like, wow, bro, you've really been doing this shit for like 11 years. Like just the fact that I've been doing it that long has actually given me confidence that I'm gonna make it because I'm like, well, I'm 11 years deep. I'm not quitting now. After like five years, I was like, I'm not quitting now. But it's so crazy how like at the five year mark, and I'm, this is gonna tie right back to what it, what's gonna be helping you. But at the five year mark, it felt like, holy shit, I've been doing it for five years. Now I've done it more than double the time, and I'm like, wow. Uh, and it doesn't, I mean, I don't know, it's weird. It just doesn't feel like, hmm, hmm, hmm. It doesn't feel, it, it's weird to say, it doesn't feel like a long time, but it feels like I've done a lot. It doesn't feel like a long time because I've been enjoying it. But this is what I'm talking about with you. I have gotten some solid results. I've grown an Instagram to 10K. I've put out a fuck ton of content. I put out a piece of, I, put out a podcast every day for a year before. So I put out 366 episodes, met some great mentors like Legion Beats. Um, you know, I've worked with some great folks, met some great folks. And now I'm finally at the point that I've always wanted to be at, which is making sales with my music, like selling CDs. It's fucking awesome. It's crazy. And <clears throat> I'm getting fans coming in every day. I'm making sales every week on the music and the music career is growing. I've even had the opportunity to get, you know, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching as well and I make money with that. And um, it's just, it's like, wow, like this is, this is happening, right? Music is really working. But I wanna tell you honestly, probably what I would say is the number one reason it's working. The number one reason, the number one mindset that I have, the number one mindset skill, the number one, whatever, it's funny, this occurred to me years ago. So I live in the Bay Area, like San Francisco, and there was this like, I don't remember what year it was, I think it was when Obama was definitely president, I know that. So it was during his eight year um, era. And I remember there was this big like thing going on. It was in the news, the 99% versus the 1%. And it was talking about economics. It was talking about how there's this 1% you know, of wealthy people, right? The Bezos, the Elons, the Bill Gates, the Steve Wozniaks, right? Who, who like don't pay taxes and like that's hurting our country and like there's 99% of us who have to pay taxes and like um, it's not fair. And I was like, hmm, interesting. And I remember one day I was in the city, San Francisco. I don't live in San Francisco, by the way. I live in like a city outside of San Francisco. But I was in San Francisco and I saw people protesting like with the picket signs. I was like, what are they protesting? I always, I always like, I love seeing protesters. Sometimes I think it's kind of funny. Sometimes. Sometimes it's for something serious and sometimes I think it's kind of funny. But uh, they had the signs. And it, like, I don't remember what, they, what the sign said, but it was talking about that. It was like, I remember it said like 1% and then it had the circle with the slash through it, like 99%. And like they were marching. I just thought it was like kind of stupid to be honest with you. Like I kind of thought they were ridiculous uh, and wasting their time. But that whole moment like really hit me. I was like, yo, I don't want to be the 99%. I want to be the 1%. I want to be them. Why would I want to be the 99, the complaining 99%? Not that 99% of us complain, but I'm just saying like if that separation, right? It's just interesting, like my brain went, all right, well, if I had to choose, I'd go to the 1%, right? Wouldn't you wanna be like in the top, not, cause it's not, it's not the bottom 1%, it's the top 1%. And I was like, why aren't we all trying to get to be the top 1%? Why are we trying to stay and complain about being the 99%? That goes political beyond my knowledge. I have opinions politically, but, but this is more about us talking as musicians and business and people. So I was like, oh, okay. And it just, I kind of secretly was like, I'm not gonna speak out against these people, but I'm gonna just try to be that 1%. So now, 
like since then, and even before that I was doing this too, but really since then was when it marked the time when I was like, I'm just gonna try and figure out something that I feel like only 1% of people are doing. So what's something that only 1% of people will do? So I did things like the 75 hard program, the live hard program, twice, 75 hard, four times, if you wanna go look at that stuff. If you, if you don't know what those things are, go look them up, Google them. 75 hard, live hard program, look them up. But I was like, okay, this is something that only 1% of people will do. Putting out a podcast every single day for one year, it's like most people won't do that. Like, I don't know exactly what percentage, but I'm gonna assume like probably only 1% of people would do that. How many people make it with music? And what's make it? Let's say make it means you're making a six-figure income for music. Let's say that. Let's just say six-figure income with music. I don't. I know that that isn't made it. Let's say, like, you know what I mean? Let's just say that, though, for, for layman's terms. Six-figure income with music. As a musician. No part-time job. No side hustles. Just music. Like, straight music. What percentage? Probably, like, probably less than 1%. But, like, let's say 1%. Right? Oh, well, so wait a minute. So you got to really think about this, though. Because, like, if you're thinking, like, don't let your political views. This is why I don't fuck with politics like that. Don't let your political views get in the way of what you're really trying to do. Because the truth is, I know people who their political views fuck up their mindset so much that it gets in the way of actually them being successful. I've seen it. I see it all the time. They care more... (laughs) about standing by their political views, which supports a party that doesn't give a fuck about them, then they do their own goals. I don't care about politics that much. I do actually, I've started caring more, but I don't care that much about it because I care about me being successful and helping other people be successful end of the day. Because if the economy is good, a lot of other shit's good too. Money can't buy you happiness, wrong. If you got money, it's gonna help you be a lot happier. So, okay, if you're somebody who believes, like, those people should pay taxes, Jeff Bezos, all the, okay, fine, you can believe those people should pay taxes, I get that, but don't hate on the concept of being the 1%, because there's a certain group of people who makes it sound like the 1% is evil, they ain't. It's not even, by the way, 1%, it's like... The people who are really messing up the world is not 1%. It's like less than that. It's like 0.00001%. It's like a thousand total people in the world that are like really making the world bad, but they're hella rich and powerful, so they make the world bad. It's not 1%. Because if you look at someone who makes... I don't know exactly what the 1% would be, but I'm gonna... I, I think that someone who makes like 500 million might be somebody in the 1%, and that's a brokey compared to, you know, Bezos and all those all those people. A hun- someone who's making 100 million a, a year might be put in, might be considered the 1%, 100 million, might be the 1%, but they're like brokey brokey compared to those people, right? But is an 100 millionaire ruining the world? No. So this is what I'm talking about, this 99%, 1% thing. People have this mindset like, yeah, the 1% is evil. Now you're not going to go do something that 1% of people would do. You see what it did for me? I took that whole political argument and I was like, huh, I'm going to actually not do it every... Because it's hard to go against what 99% of people do. Because now you're peer pressured to do what 99... Oh, this is what 99% of people are doing, right? So it's like, oh, like, this is what most people do. Like, you're going to disagree? That means that you are disagreeing and you're hurting these people because these people have to pay taxes and now you're disagreeing with them. You're disagreeing with your fellow people. Your, your fellow 99%ers. You're bad. You're what's wrong with the world. That's kind of like the way they take you. That's the dialogue they take you on. I was like, well, I'm just going to not go talking about it all the time. Because I don't give a fuck to like argue with people politically. It shit doesn't matter to me. All I care about is let's get this fucking money. Let's get this bag. I care about getting my health right, having my marriage be great, and getting this motherfucking money. I don't care about political shit. I don't care about talking to you about it. 
but I, I like may, but I'm aware of it enough to make these comparisons. So the whole moral of this whole video is not about politics, but it, 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 it I went, ended up going into it because it's important to note what you should be doing. If you want to make it and do something that 1% of people do, you need to do things that only 1% of people will do. Meaning you need to start taking actions. How many artists make it to 100 grand in income? Like probably less than 1%. How many make it to seven figures in income? 1%. And me, I'm trying to do it independent. That's even less than 1%. If you take all the artists who make a million bucks and then you take the percentage that's independent, that's probably like a 1% of 1%. That's what I'm trying to do. So I got to do shit that only that percentage of people would do. Anything, by the way. It could be working out twice. Like, I work out twice a day. Right? I diet. I drink a gallon of water. How is that going to help your music career, Lee? Technically, it doesn't directly correlate. But what it does, it makes my health right. It gives me a lot of confidence. It puts me in the habit to do things that only 1% of people do. I could go fucking orchestra conductor right now. <laughs> if only 1% of people do something and I do that thing, I'm like, well, if I do that, I can do this. Like if I can, if I can do 75 hard four times and I can do the live hard program twice in a row, I can make a six figure income as a musician. Gives me self belief because I proved it to myself. So the moral of the story is do the things that only 1% of people will do as a musician and as an entrepreneur. Because those are the things that are going to get you the results. Sometimes the boring work that a lot of people do also, but most of the time, if you have a 1% vision and you take 1% actions, you're, you're, I'm telling you, you're going to, you're going to do really well and you have to do it for a long time. Cause like most musicians quit after like a year. A lot of musicians quit after like three, four, five years. Like, well, I had to get a job. I had a baby. I got married, blah, blah, excuse, 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 excuse. I could have come up with excuses. Bitch, I'm 11 years. Well, I'm in college and I want to focus on school. Excuse, excuse, excuse. Well, my parents, this, that, and the third. Excuse, 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 excuse. All right. Keep making them excuses. I don't give a fuck about excuses. I'm doing me. I'm a one percenter. So fuck these excuses. I'm going to just keep going. It's 11 years for me. At this point, there's no fucking way I'm quitting with music. Now I'm going to make music my bitch. Music's mine. I have to because I want to. So hopefully this video helped you. Um, it was a lot more mindset and just kind of some thoughts that I wanted to get off to you. Uh, if it helped, do me a favor and like and comment and subscribe to the channel. I put these videos out every week to try and help you. And also, if you are a musician or a music producer and you're kind of looking to navigate through this crazy world of the music industry and you don't know what to do, you don't know how to market yourself, you don't know how to make money. You don't know how to get on social media. You don't know how to run paid ads. You don't know how to grow an email list. All these things that you need to do and you don't know how to do any of them. Click below and book a call with me. I would love to just kind of dive in deep. Free call. would love to just dive in deep. Try to help you figure out exactly what it is you need to do and see what I can do to help. All right. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.